So I'm going to do a little book review today of What Not To Do If You Turn Invisible by Ross Welford. This is a book I'd heard plenty about. I, um, I kept seeing it pop up on Twitter, I kept seeing it in bookshops, very striking cover, and I thought I'll get it and I'll have to give it a read. It sat on my bookshelf for about a month, six weeks, but I just got around to reading it over the last couple of days. Um, the first thing that struck me about this book is it is quite a meaty book. For a children's book, it is it is a longer book. In terms of pages, it's just over 400. Um, I found a lot of children's books I've read recently are between the sort of 300, 350, 60 mark. So it's a bit longer, um, but I really, really enjoyed it. One thing that I quite liked about this book is it's based up in the north of England and um, there's quite a lot of regional dialect that comes through the book and reference to local landmarks which I thought was just a bit different and added something to the book. So the book centres around the main character Ethel Leatherhead. Now Ethel has got very bad skin, she is um, going through something that many youngsters um, go through and went through and yes yeah, something I went through myself and that's um, that stage of your life where you have very bad skin and she's feeling really self-conscious about it. She um, She's tried all sorts of remedies and cures and she's taking a sort of Chinese herbal uh, tea, alternative uh, medicine to try and get this skin better. Now she reads that sunbeds might be uh, might be useful for helping to cure acne so she pops into um, a local tanning salon that's closing down inquires as to how much a sunbed might cost and is actually given a sort of um, end of the line old sunbed for free by the owner now, Ethel thinks she'll give it a go she um, she's still drinking her tea um, the Chinese herbal tea but she thinks combining that and using the sunbed might really help to sort her skin out she um, she goes on the sunbed and she falls asleep. When she wakes up, she realizes she is invisible. Now, at first she's really scared um, and doesn't really know what to do. But after a few hours, her um, she you know she comes back into full appearance and she's no longer invisible. However, as the story evolves, she finds herself in a situation where. Um, she feels that she might be able to use this invisibility to her advantage. There is um, a friendship she has formed with um, with a boy from London that's joined the area and she thinks she can help him win the local school talent contest and sort of um, essentially raise his reputation at school and do him a real big favour by turning invisible and um, helping him out in the contest. This doesn't go well though because some people catch a bit of a glimpse of Ethel and they've got video footage, these two twins have video footage of her um, her sort of half invisible. They try and blackmail Ethel and um, essentially she needs to become invisible one last time to get the, the tape, the recording, uh, get her hands on it and erase it. So the story is a bit silly, it's a bit funny, it isn't totally believable but it does have some some powerful messages of of friendship of um, how to deal with everyday life's uh, challenges obstacles and there is a there is a quite a nice underlying story where Ethel's mother has died um, but she is she's living with her grandma there's that sort of um, relationship with her grandma which is quite nice to see how how she's um, adapted to changing circumstances there and later in the story, as the story evolves, her father, who has been an absent father for the majority of her life, re-emerges. And it's very interesting to see how he, you know, reacquaints himself with her and becomes a relevant part of her life again. Compared to a lot of the books I've read recently, it is a lot lighter. It's a lot, um, it's a lot less hard hitting, but it's a very easy read and one that I, um, that I'd say, um, is worth you know giving a, a few hours of your time to I think my year four class would enjoy it very much I think they'd laugh at many points throughout the book and yeah it's different to a lot of other books it's not as serious would I rate it quite as highly I don't know but I really enjoyed reading it so that's what not to do if you turn invisible by Ross Welford thank you very much I'm um, I've moved on to another book uh, now which is called the Ethan that I was before it's quite a hard-hitting book it's a book I'm 
just over 200 pages into at the moment. But it's a book I'm absolutely loving. I think it could be one that I rate very, very highly indeed. I want to see where the story goes. It's about 400 pages again. But bits of it are piecing together. And I'm really, really hopeful that um, that it continues to, to sort of gather momentum as it has throughout the first 200 pages. As always, guys, if you like it, please, please do give me the thumbs up. And um, hit subscribe if... Uh, if you like, that would be even better. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye.